They're not just the number. If you have magic and have one wish, what's your wish? Hmm. For that you hit me. What would happen if we started naming them one by one? What's your one wish? To go back home with my parents. Our old way of doing this hasn't worked. It's working the best that it can work, and there's a lot of dedicated people. It's time for a change. I want to protect them from ever going back with their mother. If they go back with her within a year, they will be dead. Up on your feet. I will fight for these kids. I have to. You're dealing with people's most precious treasure is their children. Blame and guilt and everything like that. And, uh... You know, what I could have done different. You're concerned about me providing them with safety. You haven't even provided them with safety. Look at what's happened to them since they've been in the group home. I cried the first night I came here because I was like, I'm in a group home. I know for a fact I'm not going to get adopted. I have to give you to a different case manager. I really don't want to, but I kind of have to. In my childhood, I just remember just a lot of inconsistency, a lot of bouncing around and that's where the drugs started coming in. She was on the run from CPS and every time CPS got a hold of her, she would run away. If they would have actually really lent a helping hand, I think things would have been a lot different. A lot different. Because they look at us as numbers instead of people. My dearest mommy. So when we talk about numbers, then we talk about there's 15,000 kids in care. No. These children have names, and they're real, and they need a loving home, and they deserve a family, whatever that might look like. I love you, so please don't take my mommy away. Now what do you want to do? I'll break it's one. Yeah, let me stop doing it. Um, I need to do it.